That is me. How are you? Good, good. It's been way too long. How have you been? <laughs> I'm doing good. Are we live right now? Yes, we are. We are live and we're okay. cool. So, I'm doing good. I am currently in Kentucky um, in Jesse Bell's hometown. I don't know if you've been keeping up with us, but we are, we just got here um, last weekend okay. here on the East Coast. Yeah, we went to New York for the big event, mm -hmm. and that was her first time doing that. The Grits and Glam were at the big event in New York. It was cold. We've been living the L.A. life, and it's warm over there. But you know what? It's not that cold here. I've actually been keeping up with the weather and uh, where we live in um, the Long Beach area, and the weather there is seemingly the same as it is right here now. So I guess I, I left, and I took the sunshine with me. But I didn't bring it here, that's for sure. Well, as a Kentuckian, um, I'm, glad, <laughs> I'm glad you are. It's not that bad here. It's not yeah. that bad here right now. Yeah, uh, Kentucky can be a bit, um, you know, bipolar around mm -hmm. this time of the year. So before we get into the wow and you and Jesse, I finally got to meet you. As of a little over a month ago, it was at uh, the Heroes and Legends Fan Fest. Okay, yes. So, yes. That, and, you know, that, and this was. Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. I had a great, I had an even better time because I got to meet you in person Aww. <laughs> for the first well, time. Well, we were having a good time that day. I'm sure if you remember. We were we were um we were arguing as usual and mm -hmm. signing pictures and having fun and doing what we do. I, I saw <laughs> I, I've seen the video. Please excuse me yeah. because I have been very sick, which as you know I had to cancel your interview twice. I'm finally just now getting my voice back, but I'm I'm starting to get better. That's that's <laughs> that's great to hear. That's encouraging to hear. Um, your health is important, obviously, and I'm glad that you feel good. Um and feeling better, recovering well. Um, so yeah, it was great to meet you at Heroes and Legends Fan Fest. You and Jesse, I love the videos that y'all have done. <laughs> Very entertaining. And what I love about this team of you and Jesse is that y'all are like two complete opposites. Like one of my favorite videos that y'all did is y'all are in the car or in the vehicle and. <laughs> <laughs> One minute. I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, <laughs> Wu Tang Clan. <laughs> yeah, you you walk in some Wu Tang Clan. Dude, which, I love Wu Tang Clan. Like, you know. love them. I've actually been watching the American Saga. Yes. On Hulu. Yes. I'm fascinated. You know, I I love them. I think a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was feeling my Wu Tang vibes because I'm into this all American, you know, Wu Tang Clan saga on hulu so i've been rocking out to them a lot lately and you are so right like i have never all of my tag team partners i've somewhat been in the past i've 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 usually have a lot in common with them right. you know like me and chrissy vane are pretty much the same person in two bodies you know mm -hmm. and um me and santana um i guess you could say we're very similar people, except for I would say I'm um, uh, same as me and Chrissy. Uh, she's the reserved one, and I'm the more wild one. You know, like, right. but right. it works. You know, now me and Jesse are equally as wild, um, but we just do things a lot differently. But the one thing we do do alike is we like to kick ass in the ring, right. and that's when you're a tag team. That's really all you got to be on the same page on, but me and Jesse have, you know, the popularity grew very fast and um, we are touring together. Therefore, we need to be together a lot. So we have learned, how, we've had to learn how to coexist um, in our very different frames of mind when we are outside of the ring. But we're also very similar and like we're two very good hearted people. We are very loyal ride or die friends. But holy shit, do we do things differently? You know, so, um, we're having fun with the dynamic. You know, I've never been in a tag team that allowed me to have fun, you know, with the dynamic like we are this one. And 
what we're showing you guys is a very accurate description of what is going on. Um, we're just making it a little bit more comical than what it than what it is sometimes. Because <laughs> sometimes those car rides are not that entertaining, as you saw in that video. You know, sometimes I literally want to jump out the damn window. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure she does, too. <laughs> but, you know, we took a cross-country trip from Atlanta to L.A. Right. Because uh, I just moved there, and she stays with me part-time when, um, you know, when sh we're training and filming and all of the wow things that we do over in L.A. And I just, I've, I'm a West Coast girl at heart. And she is not. So, yeah, um, it's an interesting dynamic, and we're having a lot of fun with it. I'm glad you're enjoying the show because there's a lot more to come. Um, I've just been really under the weather for two or three weeks, but I'm starting to kick out, um, and we're going to resume the, the Grits and Glam show for you guys. Um, we're going to get it on YouTube for you guys. Um, you know, more to come with WOW as far as that's concerned as well. So good things happening true true and let's talk about wow for a moment um it's been a while for a long long time jenny Be jenny bus of the la lakers you know and david mcclain has put together this company and i've been watching it on tv for the past year now you know when you was the beverly hills babe and now you're teaming up with jesse uh, for the wrestling fans that might not be familiar with Wild Women of Wrestling, talk a little bit about the company and, and how's it been for you working with them. What was that last part? I'm sorry. What, what, talk a little bit about Women of Wrestling, the whole part up, and how's it been for you being part of it? Um, I absolutely love being part of this product. I am so proud of what David has accomplished. Um, I've been working with him since, sorry, that's the Majestly family and they're screaming. Um, <laughs> uh, I have been supportive of David McLean and his vision ever since he contacted me in 2011, um, wanting to restart Women of Wrestling. And um, I've always been supportive of there being more women's wrestling and there being an exclusive women's wrestling product because I have been part of the rest of the wrestling circuit for a very long time. And I've worked for a lot of the nationally televised shows. I've done some work with WWE in the early 2000s for a couple of years. Um, back then, you didn't have to have a contract. You could just work there. It was fun. It was amazing. I learned a lot. I uh, went to TNA, did some fantastic work with Jeff Hardy. Um, I've worked for New Japan. I've worked for Ring of Honor. Um, it's all been very fun, and I've loved being part of it. Um, getting to be part of an all-women's all product is definitely different, um, but I think it's different for all the right reasons. Um, David has stayed very true to his vision of wanting to be wanting to produce an exclusive all-women's wrestling television show, and you know, after all these years, he succeeded. And I think that he has an amazing roster. I love being part of this roster. Um, it's a, a diverse group of women of all ages and sizes and ethnic backgrounds and a theatrical backgrounds. I love that the characters are so alive and, you know, different. Like, we have, we have people that look like they belong in a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. And then we have women that, you know look like they could be competing on the Miss Olympia stage. And then we have people like me, you know, who have that California girl state of mind. Um, and then you have people like Jesse, you know, straight from the dirty South. And, you know, you have Tessa Blanchard, who is like the best female wrestler in the entire world right now. Chantilly and Sassy Massey, also known as uh, Ray Lynn and Alicia Edwards on TNA and Jessica Havoc. And these are, in my opinion, five-star wrestlers. And then you have the old school. I know everyone, you know, considers me old school, but, like, I'm like Malaya Hosaka, like old school, like Bambi, old school, you know. Um, I think we have some of everything. And I think when you watch WOW, you get a taste of something that you really can't get with any other women's wrestling, any other products in wrestling, really. And, you know, it's spearheaded by one of the most 
powerful women in the entire world, Jeannie Buss, you know, who owns the Lakers. I just don't see how this is not a recipe for success and why anyone wouldn't love it. If you're a women's wrestling fan, how could you not love this product? You know, our stories are just so amazing. And one thing that I notice with other pro wrestling products is it's so damn predictable. Like, I can tell you what's going to happen before, like, when I see the opener. I can tell you what's going to happen as soon as I see the people walk to the, to the ring. Well, we know this person's going to win. I don't know what's happening with women of wrestling as far as the TV show, and I'm on the damn show because they are really creative with their storylines, and they're really creative with their characters, and you never know who's going to win. And I think that's the beauty of it. Like, if, if we have succeeded in a lot of different areas, but I really think where the ball has been a hit, you know, out of the park is with the storylines and, you know, the finishes, because you really don't know what's going to happen. And I, I love it. I've definitely been a fan of WOW for the last year. Because I think a lot of people yeah. thought, you know, who really saw me joining Jesse Bell? No one. Jesse Jones, excuse me. No one saw that coming. And honestly, I can tell you that you're not going to see what's coming next. And I'm so excited for people to just stay tuned and keep watching because I've, it's so funny listening to what everybody thinks is going, what they think is going to happen next. I can guarantee you, you don't know what's going to happen next with me because I was a little floored myself. But I love it and it's exciting and I can't wait, you know, for everyone to see what's to come because there's new coming and there's new storylines, you know, in the works and, you know, there's tag team uh, champions getting ready to be crowned. Granted, I'm very upset. Me and Jesse are not going to be crowned thanks to the twins stealing our boots. Uh, but I know that eventually we will get to wrestle whoever does win those belts. And I know that when we do get that chance, like they really better be watching their back. I agree a hundred percent. So whoever ends up with those straps, just get ready for, for Jesse Amber, because they're coming for their straps. And Amber is a former champion herself, so she would love to get the belt back up this time with Jesse. And I love you and Jesse. Y'all my favorite team by the phone. <laughs> like, y'all. Thank you. I, we're getting a lot of that. And it's funny because, you know, we're bad guys, regardless of, you know, we have a fan base right now. But I, you know, here's my thoughts on that. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are the heels. We are the bad guys. But I think when people see us, they're like, we know that these girls are getting ready to wrestle their ass off and we are going to be fairly entertained while we're watching them do it. And I love nothing more than to be entertaining while I'm wrestling. I think it's part of who I am as a wrestler. I do not get in there and try to out-wrestle every single, you know, try to prove that I can do this spot, that spot, this move, that move. That's the goal in this business. I am a great wrestler, I'm a solid wrestler, I'm a brawling bitch, and I will promise you that you will be entertained, I will make you laugh, I will make you smile, I will make you cry, you will not leave that show not remembering who I am, because I will entertain you and I will kick somebody's ass while I'm doing it, and Jesse's the same, and I think that that's why we are doing as well as we are right now in Women of Wrestling and WOW, WOW Superheroes, and the rest of the wrestling circuit. You can check out Wild wow, Woman of Wrestling on Saturday nights, 8 Eastern, 7 Central on Access TV, part of their mm -hmm. Saturday Slam and New Japan comes by after. So, you know, go check it out. Well, this, this weekend, I want to let everyone know this. This weekend is um, our two-hour season finale, so don't miss that. But prior to that, it is a all-day um, Saturday Slamathon with WOW Superheroes. So it will be an all-day marathon of WOW Superheroes followed by the two-hour season finale. So, okay. that, I mean, get your fix on WOW this Saturday. Two, Access TV. Two-hour season finale of WOW. But before that, you got the marathon of every episode up to this point. So if you miss Jesse and uh, Amber, shame on you. But luckily, Access TV got you covered. They're going to show all the episodes on Saturday, and then you got the two-hour season finale. So go, just, you ain't got nothing to do on Saturday. Just sit on your butt, <laughs> sit on your couch, t find Access TV if you can, and go watch the entire season up to this point. 
And uh, so, Amber, what else you have coming up with the year winding down? Uh, any upcoming events? Anything you got going on? Um, here's what I suggest because the rest of our year is slammed with tour dates. I know this weekend we're in Tennessee. Sorry this happens when you're a wrestler. I don't know where it's at. I probably won't know until I get there. But uh, I know we have Russell Cade next weekend, which if you know anything about me and my history with Russell Cade, um, I've been a mainstay there ever since the first Russell Cade ever went down. Um, I will be returning again. But this year, I will be bringing Jesse Jones. We will be signing autographs, taking photo ops. I'm so excited. It will be the first time Grits and Glam has ever been to Wrestle K together. Let me see. Um, I know that we are going to be debuting at Rockstar Pro Wrestling. I don't know exactly where that's at. But what I do suggest you do is stay tuned to my Instagram and Twitter, and you can follow me at Amber O'Neill, A-M-B-E-R-O-N-E-A-L, and then the number one, and then Jesse Jones, wow, underscore Jesse Jones. Um, definitely make sure you follow Wow Superheroes at Wow Superheroes. That way you can get the updates minute to minute on all everything going down. You can get the times and Everything happening this Saturday from the marathon, and I will be posting and advertising that as well. So this year is going to be super slam this last month, and then starting in January, I think we leave January 3rd to go back to L.A., and we'll be filming more Wild Superheroes. So life is good. Life is good in Amberland right now. Grits and Glam is killing it, and Wild Superheroes is killing it. Good stuff to come. You know, it couldn't be, life couldn't be better for Amber Neal right now. So thank you for having me. Thank, thank you so much, Amber. This, this is actually your first time on this show in six years. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I remember doing it with you before. And when I yeah, met you yeah. at Heroes and Legends, I knew exactly who you were. So, so yeah, thank you for having me back. A lot's happened in six years. <laughs> yeah, it, and you and you you pretty much travel everywhere you done you done it all you accomplished a lot you won championships you made so many memories and i will forever mm -hmm. say this you are without a doubt one of my favorite wrestlers of all time because like you said earlier you get you 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 made me entertain every time regardless of the match the opponent the situation i'm always entertained when i see amber o'neill in a wrestling ring so uh Amber, thank you thank you i want to ask you this i want to ask you this okay. uh so who you know because I, I love to hear what people say okay. who is your favorite wow superhero other if just take me and jesse jones out of the equation just because i know you love us and i'm not gonna put you on the spot like that <laughs> but i know you know who i'm entertained by when i watch the show so i would love to hear who is your who do you thoroughly enjoy watching on the wow superhero show Oh, uh, some favorites. I like the Beast. Mm -hmm. I really like her. Uh, I like Tessa Blanchard, obviously. Um, yeah. Um, I like uh Wayne Lynn's character, T'Challa. Like I, I can vibe with her. I can. I like her. And kind of hard not to vibe with Ch Chantilly T'Challa. Yeah. One, one time when I met her, she wanted me to twerk, and <laughs> that's she, she is that type of person. Like she gonna vibe with you. She gonna talk to you. Next thing you know, she, she'll be dancing with you. You better mm -hmm. twerk alongside with it. So I do like the variety of talent, different backgrounds, different, you know, pedigrees and here and there. I like what, what WoW is bringing to the table. Uh, so I, th those are some of my favorites outside of Glitz. Yeah. So. I agree. I definitely think the Beast is, you know, a huge, like, star in the making. And I also um, agree that fate the lioness is like going to be a huge star in the wrestling world. You know, if you watch the show right now, she's definitely not my favorite person. You know, she got a little schemey with Lana star, but I mean, if you know anything about the show, yeah. she's going to get hers because I mean, when you play with Lana, like you're playing with fire literally, but I do know talent when I see it. And I agree with you. I think the beast is going to be a huge star in the wrestling world. And I think fate is definitely one to watch out for. So I like hearing people's thoughts, you know. Mm -hmm. I like to ask questions, too. 
Cool, cool. You know, I, I just love WoW overall, and uh, and hopefully access keep them on your t keep them on because they they're gonna keep getting better. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and